Welcome to Spice and Pens. Subscribe to our channel for our recipes weekly. Hi, today we'll be cooking KL traditional ban mian. I'll be making the noodles from scratch as well as the chili. I'll be showing you how to do it. So let's start cooking. First, I'm going to make the chili. I'm going to blend this dried chili, 100 grams of this. I'm going to put this inside this processor. Try to de-seed as much as possible from the dried chili. I've only just rinsed it. I did not soak it because basically I don't want this to become a paste. So I want this to be a little bit drier than normal. I'll be adding in also 15 grams of chili padi or persai chili. Now if you don't add this in, it will not be spicy. The spicy level depends on how much you like it to be. If you like it more spicy, put more. So just close this up and let's just blend this. So as you can see, I want the chili to be blended into flakes like this. So this is what we want. Okay, so we just dish this up and we'll do the other ingredients. I'll be putting in to blend also 35 grams of dried shrimp which I've soaked and softened up, right? So I'll pour them in. Six pieces of shallots, one whole pup of garlic, all in. And we'll just blend them together. Once we have achieved this texture, it's time to fry the chili. Heat up a pan, pour in around two tablespoons of oil. Now we need oil in order to make this chili fragrant. Pour in first the shallots, garlic and dried shrimp mix. Now remember when you're frying this chili, it has to be low, low heat or medium heat. Don't put on high heat, otherwise you will burn this very very easily we're just going to slow fry this until they become fragrant try if possible to stir it often otherwise you might burn this very easily remember the trick to this is not on high heat but if possible on low heat or medium heat now we can start smelling the fragrance up coming from this beautiful mixture it's time to add in the blended chili Pour everything in and keep stirring them. You might have to do this for at least 30 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes when the color is a, a dark red and you can really really smell that it's very very fragrant. That means it's done already. I've been frying the chili for half an hour already. Let's have a look. Look at how beautiful the color is. Now we have to add in some seasoning. Salt. One and a half teaspoon. Sugar, one teaspoon of it. Stir them up well. Give it a final taste to see whether it's savory enough. Mm. Very, very nice. Very good. Okay, time to dish this up. Now I'm going to make the dough for the ban mian. I have 500 grams of plain flour inside this. One teaspoon of salt. We'll mix them up first. Okay. And then we add in one tablespoon of oil. As well as an egg. Now normally ban mian, when you see outside, those are white in color. If you want it to be green, you can actually blend some spinach and then add them in also. Water bit by bit. Now, the reason why I'm adding water in bit by bit is different brand of flour got different absorption of uh, water ratio. When it's done, and I'll let you know the exact amount of it, how much water I put inside here. So now, when you see that the, there's nothing left sticking on the on the wall of this processor, it means the dough is done. I'll just take it out and rest this for half an hour. This is how it looks like when it's done. Soft to the touch. Total amount of water I added inside this dough was about 300 milliliter. So now I'll just take out this and rest this. Now I'm going to shallow fry the anchovies and in oil. Now if you want it healthier, you can actually put it inside the oven and bake it for like at 180 for 20 to 25 minutes. That will achieve it also. 
But I like to do a shallow fry because I find that it's tastier and the crispiness is uh, slightly different. Here I have with me 200 grams of this uh, anchovy meat. I'm just going to pour everything in. I'm just going to fry them until they are crispy. This may take a while. Now remember, don't put the heat on way too high because we don't want to burn this. So medium heat will be good. I've added in more oil because it will be easier to fry. But try to keep stirring it so that it won't be burnt. Remember, it's very important to keep the, the fire at medium only, not high. The anchovies have turned golden brown and it's time to drain them of the oil and let them cool down. Now we are going to fry the mincemeat with mushroom. In a heater pan, add in 1 tablespoon of oil, 3 pieces of garlic chopped. Move them around until you can smell them. Once the fragrance is out, add in sliced mushroom. I'm using 5 pieces of a medium sized mushroom over here. I've hydrated them and sliced them thinly like this. So I'm just going to put everything in. We love mushroom, hence we are using quite a fair bit of them. Now the reason why I'm frying the mushroom first is because I want the fragrance from the mushroom to be infused together with the oil that we are using over here. So that this dish will be very very fragrant. Once you can smell the mushroom, add in minced meat. I'm using 400 grams of minced meat over here. A mixture of patty and lean pork. Pamil is also very popular in Singapore. But in Singapore mainly we have it in pamil in soup. There's a few very good stores in Singapore that actually sells pamil, the dry type, but it's very different from what you have in KL. Now we want to separate out the minced pork as much as possible. Don't let them clump together. That's the reason why I'm chopping them up. We're going to add in the seasoning now. One and a half tablespoon of our oyster sauce. Mix them up well. To enhance the taste of this further, I'm going to add in one and a half tablespoon of dark soya sauce. Now I'm a strong advocate of a good premium dark soya sauce because it gives you a very good taste and it's not salty at all. Look at how beautiful the color of this is. So whenever possible, please do invest in a good premium soya sauce. Be it light soya sauce or dark soya sauce. I'm going to add in one cup of water into this. Smells really, really, really good. I'm going to cover this up and let it boil in this sauce for five minutes. Five minutes is up. Let's have a look. Beautiful. Smells fantastic. So around, we can see that there's very little sauce left. It's okay. Just got to try a little bit to make sure that it's savory enough. Mm. Yummy. I'm going to add in a few dashes of white pepper. Take it up a little bit. Just a little bit will do. So that it will be smooth to the taste. Finally, add in one teaspoon of sesame seed oil. And we are done. Time to dish this up. So what I'm going to do now is to turn the dough into noodles. I've divided the dough into four pieces like this. I've done two of them up already and I'm going to show you how to do it. All you need is a rolling pin and a pizza cutter. Now if you don't have a pizza cutter, you can use a dough cutter also. As well as plain flour for dusting. Put a little bit of flour on your board. Flatten your dough out. And just start rolling them. Now you can roll it to the thickness that you desire. Of course, if you like it thinner, you can always do so. If not, thicker is fine too. I'm going to dust them again. Just a little bit of flour. Rub it up. Turn to the other side and dust again. This truly handmade noodles because everything is by hand. No machine whatsoever. Dust it again. Now to the other side. Now 
also does it. Now when you're dusting it, you can actually use your hand to feel which one is thicker, which side is thicker. So like for example, this side is thicker, we'll just roll it further. Okay, as well as the edges. Now remember, after every time you roll, you need to dust, otherwise it will stick. A little bit of flour, dust it, edges too. I try to lift them up, put them back down. Same thing over here, dust it a little bit more. Make sure it don't stick to your hand and then you have noodles that's very very easy to cut. Okay, I'm just using a pizza cutter over here to cut it. Just going to trim the edges off first. Now you can cut it as thick as you want or as thin as you want, it's really up to you. Right. Once you cut it, just push it back to the side. Very simple. So finish. Do this all the way to the end and finish up with the dough and then we can cook the noodles already. As a base for the noodles, I'll be adding in 1.5 teaspoon of oyster sauce, 2 teaspoon of dark soy sauce, I'm using the premium one so this is not salty at all or not very salty I'll say one and a half teaspoon of lard oil so mix them up well together after you boil the noodles just mix inside this mixture itself I also blend some vegetables which I'll use for the noodles too once your water is boiling put in the noodles stir them once the noodles float to the surface they are done already make sure when you put them in the water you have to stir them up a little bit otherwise they will just clump all together Right, you can see the noodles are slowly rising to the top. When all of them have floated up, it's time to scoop them up. Our lunch is ready. Just to show you what we did, we tossed the noodles in the sauce. We boiled some greens, which we put at the side. These are the mushrooms and mincemeat that we fried earlier on. The anchovies, the chili, and I also poached an egg to top it up. I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.